What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful morning here in Sarasota, Florida, and today we found the nicest Prevo Marathon coach that I have personally ever seen. This 2022 Prevo H3 Double Slide Marathon Coach also has a matching stacker trailer, and in my opinion, this is the best spec marathon coach we have ever seen on the channel. The overall design from the exterior to the interior is much more modern than we've ever seen in a marathon coach. It's got a bath and a half and is loaded with equipment that I'm excited to show you today. This coach just became available here at the Motor Coach store with the matching stacker trailer for $1,999,999 and is arguably the nicest marathon coach that is available on the market right now. The way Marathon Coach designed this coach is very different than any of the other converters out there. There's some really cool hidden doors and a very cool floor plan. But before we go inside of the coach, let's take a closer look at the exterior and the bays on this coach. I'm a big fan of this exterior paint scheme. I've talked about it before. I believe white, silver, and black are the best colors for resale value. And this coach has a very cool paint design. Using those colors, there's a lot of cool patterns stenciled in and a lot of cool effects in the paint. You can see there's a slight fade right here. You can barely see there's a pattern ghosted in and then as the paint flows towards the rear of the coach that pattern starts to come out more giving it a very cool look. Now this being a double slide coach one of the biggest advantages is not having those slides on this side you have very easy access to all of your bays and being the Prevo H3 this is going to be the biggest bay space in the class A motorhome industry and one of the other benefits to having the taller bays is the floor on this coach is going to be higher than other motorhomes out there so you're going to have a better view wherever you're parked the first bay is going to have a smoker here on a power tray it looks like an entire exterior kitchen this is a trek prime smoker and this is going to come out quite a ways just to keep cooking away from the exterior paint scheme and a beautiful solid surface countertop then you have lots of storage out here very well organized all lined with carpet you do have outlets and then more storage space out here and really this is set up where this could be a table if you brought a couple stools or bar stools out here you could comfortably have a few people sitting out here you could throw your favorite dish on the smoker and then sit out here and enjoy a nice meal bay two is going to be a combination of storage and an entertainment bay there's a nice compartment for this tv and beautiful woodwork inside of these basement cabinets and very easily this large television with the sound bar will swivel out and you can really feel the smoothness of this build quality when we slide this television in and out and then we do have this uh, launch port control here in your base so you can control your awnings your climate control the shades the lighting the floor heat lots of different features can be controlled with this and it's got a nice little spot to house it there marathon coach does such a great job at how they organize these bays you've got that nice little spot for your tv with the launch port above it and a lot of storage here but up top here you still have the signature marathon coach lawn chairs with the marathon coach embroidery in this nice compartment up here and because these basement bays are so tall you still have a lot of storage below enough room for a little giant ladder some extra bins and these will come out on a power tray as well so you can see a lot of storage. There's a label here, loose items for Marathon Coach 1356. It's gonna be some of your extra components. And this next bay is gonna be more storage. It doesn't have a slide tray, so you gain a little more height. There are outlets here, and very clean how Marathon Coach finishes everything out. This next bay is gonna house the mixed bed deionized system. I love seeing that. It's very valuable to have deionized water 
water when you're washing this coach or a coach like it. It's very cleanly plumbed into the coach. You've got a nice little spot there for your DI tank. And you can see even the floor inside of this bay is finished out with a wood grain look, very professional. This coach does have a 222 gallon diesel fuel carrying capacity. You can fill that diesel fuel on both sides. And this is a very nice level to fill from. It does have a lock here to protect that diesel fuel. It makes it very easy for the operator to fill this coach up. This next bay is gonna be some of the plumbing components and, it's, and Marathon Coach does a great job at finishing everything out behind these doors. You can see the manifold system back here, some of your water filters, your water pumps. You got a little heater in here to keep everything warm. And then the large holding tanks are gonna be housed behind that. As the sun is coming up, all of these different patterns are popping out more and more. Again, you can see a slight fade here where that pattern is ghosted into the paint and you can barely see it. And then as it fades here, you can see more of that contrast really cool paint scheme a lot of cool stuff going on this coach does have the volvo d13 with 500 horsepower 20,000 pound towing capacity here's a side look of the engine bay your nice industrial power washer one right here there's a place for everything in this coach again very well organized so coming around to the rear of the coach very cool styling again that big pattern in the middle of the coach a lot going on back here but let's pop this rear end and take a look at the Volvo D13. There's a little release latch right here. And then you can see you have easy access to all of your belts. And this being on the Prevo platform, there's a lot of value. Prevo builds buses for tour buses, and a lot of the Prevos out there have a million plus miles on them. This is a commercial machine, and it's very important for them to be able to keep running all of those passengers down the road. Greyhound buses use a lot of these Prevos. Reliability is extremely important, and with that comes the serviceability and the service network that Prevo does have. There are different Prevo service centers throughout the U.S. as well as Prevo service vans. Marathon Coach does have several service centers as well, one in Oregon, one in Texas, and one in Florida. So there's a lot of resources to get service work done on this bus. We've got the slide rooms out right now, and you can see that I can walk under. There is a little bit of a tilt right here, but being 6'2", I can walk under this slide room if it is on an even surface and you can see how large this slide room is so a huge rear bedroom that I'm really looking forward to showing you so here's the other side of the wet bay you can see that manifold system simple switches very well labeled for your sewer hose reel your power 50 amp cord reel your gray and black tank dump you can wash your hands outside you've got your tank rinses for your black and gray tanks as well as a fresh water in Inlet. You've got a Crestron panel out here where you can control some of your TechLink features. A little spot for paper towels and a soap dispenser. Just beautiful woodwork the way that Marathon Coach finishes this out. This bay is going to house a lot of the electronic components, the inverters, and everything is nicely finished off, tucked back behind these nice panels. So here's a look at the 20kW PowerTech generator on airbags with a manual slide tray. This is an absolute beast and you can see all of this material to help keep the sound down. Here's the other side of that full pass through bay and you can see we have that slide tray out the other way right now. Everything is lined with carpet and when we look closely here I like to show the structure of the Prevo chassis there, these reinforcements very commercial grade when we start looking through everything. And I'll point out that we do have the front slide room out right now as well. Very easy access to these bays with the slide rooms out. Very easy to duck underneath these. That structure from this Prevo shell, very robust build. As we come around to the front of the coach, I love to point out the Marathon Coach styling. They've been doing this for a long time with these vertical stripes here, almost like pinstripes. And I've noticed that Mercedes-Benz has a very similar grill on some of their new models. And then you'll see up top there that same styling on the front end. But the interior of this coach is what it's all about. So let's take a look inside.
coming into this coach, I know I've called other marathon coaches the nicest marathon coach, but this to date, 2023 August, this is the nicest marathon coach I've ever seen. The simple colors, the floor plan, all of the design cues, and all of the different textures in this coach really tie together well. But starting out in the cockpit area, a lot of folks really like that there's a couple of steps going into the coach and that separates the driver's compartment from the rest of the coach. You can see the Prevo steering wheel, the simple analog Prevo dash. You have a large Crestron panel, USB ports, your Fusion Sirius satellite radio controls, dash AC controls, manual shade controls for up front here. You can lock your baggage doors up front. And right now we've got all of the blinds closed. You can see everything is in excellent condition. The first thing that really caught my attention in this coach is this accent lighting in the ceiling. It's almost like a linen fabric in the ceiling that is backlit and then there's also accent lighting, puck lighting, lighting on the valances here. And right now we have all of the blinds down and you can tell they're very clean and this being a 2022 is in excellent condition. Like a lot of the other marathon coaches we've seen before, this does have the large tablet where we can control the awnings, the shades, lights, climate control. Everything is very simple, easy to read. It's very user friendly. Marathon coach has been building coaches for several decades. There's a lot of features in this coach where they're really thinking of the end user. And one of the things that I really like that marathon coach does is there's a a lot of uh, like I would call secret compartments or hidden rooms or hidden doors and the first time I walked through this coach I saw that it was a bath and a half and I couldn't figure out how to get to the half bathroom I knew there had to be a bathroom somewhere but I could not find it and with all of the design cues the overall package on this this is the best spec marathon coach I've ever seen so there's an old saying that these high-end motor coaches are usually built to sleep to dine for and entertain maybe six but there's a lot of seating in this coach and I think you have a little more flexibility in this coach than you would over other coaches. If you do have guests that do want to stay the night, this will easily swivel out. It's a manual jackknife. You don't have to press a button and this is a very long couch. I'm going to lay on it here just to give you all an idea for size. It's got to be right around six feet and with a nice little pillow I can make myself comfortable and I believe two people could very very comfortably sleep on this sofa. And sometimes I have seen folks lay down a mattress pad over the sofa to really level it out. But there's lots of little details like these laundry hampers behind your sofa. So if your guests do need a place to put dirty laundry, it's very convenient for them. And then you also have a good amount of countertop space here next to your couch, as well as drawer space uh, with those marathon logos and the dovetail construction like I've pointed out before, you can really feel the quality as you go through this coach. And then you're gonna notice lots of indirect lighting below this edge here. There are outlets back there. And with no cabinets overhead, you have a nice view out of those huge windows. And then if you don't have guests and you just wanna kick back on your sofa, it is very comfortable. And there's a large TV at the front of the coach. We can just press this TV down button. Now I do need to hold that down. And you can see that large Samsung TV comes down. And I like to point out the way Marathon Coach builds this TV lift, it is tucked way back against that windshield. So if you do have your TV down and you're coming in and out of the coach, it's not catching your shoulder like some of the other Prevo buses that I've been in. I've got to point out this nice countertop space here and it even has a little recess in the countertop so if you were going to set maybe your you know keys or wallet cell phone when you come in and out of the coach if you were driving and you did have like a cell phone here that slid it wouldn't fall off of this countertop space and just so many little subtle touches like the grab handle here is very high end ties in well with all the other textures as well as this key tray wallet cell phone tray there that does swivel around just lots of nice features in this coach. These recliners up front are extremely comfortable and we can press a button here for the TV. 
So there's another TV across from your sofa there on a televator with that cool art piece above the televator there. And then if you want to enjoy those big windows, you can put this televator down if you want to enjoy the view out of those large Prevo windows. And there's so many little details that set this coach off, like the different levels of countertops. So you have more indirect lighting here, as well as more indirect lighting above your fireplace. And another little spot there to set a beverage. There's lots of nice little subtle touches in this coach. If we move these recliners out, there is gonna be more storage again a laundry hamper there and then it does have these straps if you do want to strap your chair into place so it isn't moving around while it's going down the road and these recliners are not only extremely comfortable but have a very good look like a european style look with the two-toned leather very high-end finishes coming over to your dinette here i love the little art recess that marathon coach has uh, not only right here but also over here in your galley and in the past there used to be a glass door around that little art recess but i think this looks really nice you have a puck light inside of that art cabinet as well as indirect lighting and a very cool contemporary style uh, artwork there with the darker cabinets. And then again, all of the cool design cues uh, where they used a gold piece of artwork to tie in with the gold hardware on the cabinets. And then here they're using that white piece of artwork to tie in with the lighter color countertops. Uh, the Marathon Coach design team knocked it out of the park with the design on this coach. Over here, we've got a very large style dinette area and this table does swivel out. So so if larger folks wanted to swivel that to come sit down, and then if you wanna move this table out, there's a switch right here. So if you have the slide rooms in and you wanna bring the table in, you can make a longer aisle way. Or if you know folks uh, in your party are a little bit heavier and they need a little more belly room when the slide rooms are out, you can easily adjust this table to make it comfortable regardless of what size you are. And again, more solid surface countertop back here. This is a very cool pattern on the backs of this dinette uh, with the gray fabric two-tone with the darker leather below really ties in together well with, with the darker color cabinets and the lighter countertops. And then above your dinette, you're gonna have a lot of storage here overhead. You can see it's extremely clean. And then coming into the galley, we have a very clean look with the darker cabinets and lighter countertops with the gold or brass hardware. It does have a Fisher Paykel cooktop with the solid surface cooktop cover, huge sink with the dual sink covers. I love the white sink, nice light colors. It gives it a really fresh feel inside of the coach. They use that black hardware for the faucets that tie in together with the cabinets, but coming down to the drawers here, they have the gold hardware. It does have the Fisher Pickel dishwasher. You can just see how Marathon finishes out every square inch. And then here's a little spot to store your sink covers or cooktop cover while you're in transit. And then over Overhead, we've got a good amount of storage and I really like the material that they use to line the inside of the cabinets. I believe this is an embossed leather and I would bet that that's easier to clean than the carpets that we see in some of the other high-end coaches. And then here we have a microwave with this nice door that tucks away, but it will hide that when you're not using the microwave. It just gives it a really nice clean look. I think anybody would rather look at these nice cabinets rather than the face of a microwave and then more drawer space again lined with that same embossed leather material you can see the marathon coach logo inside of the drawers and all dovetail construction and you have a good size pantry here again very high-end drawers and we open and close these and i love seeing that marathon coach logo in all of the side of the drawers and every square inch of this coach is finished out when you look at all the seams inside of these cabinets very clean and then this is cool that they they broke up the darker cabinets and now it comes into lighter cabinets. And this is actually the refrigerator, but it looks like a piece of furniture. And I would bet that up top here, I just saw this for the first time, but I believe that's wine bottle storage. If you look inside, you can see it's lined with that embossed leather. That'd be a good spot to put some wine bottles up there. Then you've got this large freezer drawer with that gold brass colored hardware. If you wanted to section
section off the rear of the coach. You do have an air door here with that full length mirror. Now coming into the middle of the coach, this is the part that really confused me a little bit. I walked through the whole coach and I didn't know what was going on in this area. I don't see a door handle. I do see a nice backlit piece of abstract art. You do have another piece of artwork over here, but I had to figure this out. When you open this door here, it's almost like a secret hidden half bathroom. And check out the texture on this wall. Very high-end texture. These hinges are hidden when you close this door. You can't see those hinges. This has a beautiful backsplash, different than what we saw in the galley, and then different darker floors. It does have a vent with a fan. Very high-end finishes inside of this coach. Storage up top there. But really cool how Marathon Coach almost made like a little secret half bathroom here. And it's just nice to have a half bathroom towards the front of the coach. If you do have guests staying on that jackknife sofa, they can access the refrigerator, a half bathroom, the kitchen. They've got their TVs, everything they need without bothering the paying customers in the back of the coach. And then the owners of the coach, they've got their huge sweet back here so let's uh, check this out and so coming into the back of the coach here, you can see these beautiful white walls. I'm not seeing any door handles here. Everything is very clean, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but there's a lot of function going on here. So first, we can press this room for the washer dryer door. And you can see you've got this ASCO stackable washer and dryer conveniently located in the middle of the coach. If you don't want to look at that anymore, you just press this button and that will close up nicely. And then behind this door over here, we could pull this back and you've got a good sized closet, very well lit. Again, lined completely. You have some good drawer space again with those Marathon Coach logos. Nice closet here in the middle of the coach. But then we have this large wall over here and you're probably wondering what's behind that wall. We press another button for the bathroom door. You can see there's a really nice size bathroom. This is a full bathroom here in the middle of the coach. So when you section off the front of the coach, this becomes part of the master suite. And the way that this wall curves around a little bit, it's a very nice flow going into your bedroom. And this is a huge shower here. I've got to show you guys this. So as you can see, beautiful towel work. I like the black colored shower head. And then it also has another shower head in the ceiling and then a vent with a fan above that, all finished out and a good amount of space to do the 360 test if needed. And then there's a little cubby here to store any you know, shampoo, body wash, and then of course a little squeegee to keep this nice shower glass door clean and it's definitely in excellent condition. And again, a really cool backsplash like we saw in the half bathroom. They stuck with the same color palettes, but they did go with the darker floor here in the bathroom that gives it a really nice feel. And then it does have the Tecma toilet with plenty of room here in your mid bath, a great utilization of the space. And then even the medicine cabinet, you know, every square inch of these marathon coaches is finished out. I really like the glass shelving. It is adjustable shelving and that same embossed leather lining. It's not carpet. I believe this embossed leather is gonna be a little easier to keep clean. And then coming back into the bedroom here, we've got all kinds of room. There's a king size bed, more secret doors that we have to open up. But here we've got some cool artwork on the wall and it switches from the lighter color walls in the hallway back to the darker color cabinets here in the bedroom, giving it a nice cozy feel. Here we have a lot of the extra bedding is being stored right now, but you can see lots of hanging space. It's well lit in here, very deep drawers and very high-end textures. When you look closely at these cabinets, it's not just a black, it actually has like a pattern to it, a very high-end finish on all of these cabinets. Then you do have some good countertop space, bedside. Here's another one of those launch port controls. Again, you can control all the stuff like the shades, blinds that we mentioned before. Really cool sconce lighting behind the bed, nice little design cue there. And then again, the ceiling has, it looks like a piece of linen that's underlit, really cool lighting here in the bedroom as well. And then behind this panel in your bedroom is going to house a lot of your breakers, your climate control, your inverter controls. All of that good stuff is tucked away nicely behind this panel. And then you have a good amount of drawer space here. And then a nice Samsung TV fixed here. 
and then more storage for linens, towels, nice little cabinet for that, more storage with adjustable shelving. Now, the coach doesn't stop here. You have this nice storage in the back of the coach utilizing every little square inch. And we can tilt the bed up all by the press of a button as well. So if you do want to uh, sit up and watch a movie while you're laying in bed, that will give you more walking area in your master bedroom. And then when we put the slide rooms in, which we'll show you in a moment, you're still gonna be able to walk to the back of the coach, no problem. But let me show you what's going on back here. We just press this closet door. The rear closet door opens up. Then you can see a good amount of hanging space here. Very well lit, all finished out. And then if you want to hide all of your wardrobe back here, you just press that button. That all closes up and you have a nice mirror here in the back of the coach. So this is what the coach looks like with the slide rooms in. You can see it's still very livable. You can easily sit on the couch and watch that TV on the televator. You can easily get to your dinette and this does swivel out. You can adjust that as well. You can very easily get to your refrigerator, the half bathroom uh, behind this secret door is very easily accessible as well as your washer and dryer and your full bathroom here in the middle of the coach with the shower and then coming into the master bedroom here it does tighten up a little bit but you can still get to your king size bed and right now we do have the bed swiveled up so you can get around to the bed and then if you wanted to open that rear closet door, then you can see you can easily get to that rear closet. And then going back into the middle of the coach, there it is a little bit narrow through here, but still very easy to navigate through. So if you are a serious and qualified buyer, this coach is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida, with the matching stacker trailer for $1,999,999. Serious buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing to the channel. We hope you're all having a great day.